Uh, did I miss a message? Borboro Gaming has just reached pro rank and was struggling to find decks to play. Can someone suggest me any? Oh, okay. Hey, sorry, I missed your message. Bor uh, Bor Borbobio, Borbobio, Borbobio Gaming. Um, what faction do you like? I think like the strongest decks right now are probably Syndicate Line Pockets with Akarantia and Novigrad. Um, and then a lot of people like Patricidal Fury Self Wound. A lot of people like Enslave Six Assimilate. These decks are kind of hard to play. Those decks that I mentioned just now, they're kind of hard pl to play. But they are very strong. If you want something that's a little bit easier to play, maybe something like Relics Morntart Renfrey. For Monsters, Force of Nature, that's really fun. You can find a, a lot of deck lists in my spreadsheet, by the way. Uh, in my exclamation deck spreadsheet. You don't, you've already seen it, but you don't know which one to pick. Okay, you like, you said you like uh, Nilfgaard. But I read you need to play at least four different factions to rank up in pro rank, yes. You need to play at least four different factions, 25 games minimum in each faction to, to finish your placements, to get like a, the max percentage of score that you can possibly get and then of course you can play more than 25 per faction and you can raise your mmr raise your score but you need to play a minimum of 25 for it to count 100 percent of your score uh what's happening here this is do you think this is warriors that we're up against Or more like a control sort of deck. I'm not sure if I should have taken the lock. I feel like maybe the lock is better because the lock is going to be a better card in round three. For example, can answer tier. Um, we do have Arendite to answer tier though, probably. It's Centrion Lion. Doesn't Centrion Lion play Shoop? Or is he playing some maybe maybe uh maybe he's playing no unit deck? Um for Nilfgaard, yeah, assimilate I would say is is good and I really like I really like Shoop Sangriel. The Toussaint Hospitality Shoop Sangreal deck that is in my spreadsheet. Yeah, Sintrin usually plays Melusine Soap, Triple Lippy, the one that we were Wolfpack. Do beasts normally have this much trouble uh, having a proactive play, though? I feel like usually not. Boy, stay in the deck. It's gonna be a pro. Damn it, boy. Whoa, this hand is unplayable. Uh oh. This is really bad. We just went from like winning on even to losing the game, I think. I can't play this, can't play this, can't play this. This does nothing. This plays for a four. Can't play this, and this currently does nothing. This currently plays for a three. Nice. That's my best card in my hand is a four. I I guess technically a five, but it's more like a zero. Maybe it just passes. Okay, it is beast. Three. 
Three damage Arendai. Lord Almighty. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, do I pass here? I could try to pass here and... And then what? And then I had no idea what do I do. It's not like we need to pass, but it, I also feel like there's no point in playing. He does have to play another card. He, he has Best Boy in the deck, most likely, but he doesn't know if it's going to come out on this 40%. Like, this is not how you play the deck. I don't even have a Shoop. He, he banished my Shoop. Eh, this is just very bad. It's just just very, very bad. Just bad. Alright, he's gonna have like Renfrey, Sove, Triss Meteor Shower, Facusia, Corrupted Flaminica with Last Say, Renfrey's Gang. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah, okay. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I didn't draw the Rodea, and okay. What's the what's the plan? New plan. New plan is to play Arandite. Put Arandite in the graveyard. Maybe. Or new plan is to like may maybe play Lippy in round three. Banish his horse? We can banish his horse. I want to grow the Arendite. I think we're going Axel to grow the Arendite. The enemy veins. My blood boils and turns. Boy is out, which means we have to play Arendite. Or compass. Maybe we play compass here? We play compass here for not Lippy. Draw compass, Morkvark, Redea. Use Redea to discard Morkvark. Play compass, second compass for Lippy in round three. And then, I don't know, miraculously draw Troll Porter or Royal Decree. I mean, there's no there's no value left in my deck. My My deck has no value. Like you. you can compass combi unironically. <laughs> uh, that's true. He is like two cards down. Even if he had passed there, I could have still played co combi. I'm surprised he's playing. I am surprised he's playing. Okay, um, we're going to get rid of... Okay, this doesn't get me ahead. I could leader. The longer I wait, the more likely I'm going to get a really good combi, right? Okay, so let's go Let's go epidemic here. The longer I wait, the better it is. The most, the more likely I'm gonna hit something like a Renfri or a, a a Triss Meter Shower or a Sove, or a Facusia, or a Corrupted Flaminica, with my combi. Let's 
you were looking at the relics Mortart Renfrey deck, you don't quite understand what it work how it works. Basically, you play and split your uh, you operator self eater. You play self eaters. You incubus self eaters, and you try to split them as many times as possible. Those self eater splits uh, go into your graveyard. They're not doomed. And then you have like a twenty unit graveyard, and you play Mortart for like twenty one power, or maybe even better later. This deck plays Triss, yes. That's why he's stacking melee row. Okay, I, I I think we are probably... I guess we don't need to get ahead, right? We don't need to get ahead because if he passes... If he passes, we need to play an, a, an Echo card anyways. Otherwise, we don't draw three cards. We'll still have, even, even if he passes here, we'll still be up one card in round three. How do I draw three cards? With compass. Um, do you guys, he could have a second squirrel. That is, that is kind of a problem. He could have a second squirrel. If we play compass, he could squirrel that compass. And then we're super sad. Hey, Kaispa, how are you? Choop dab. <laughs> Renfrey now? So when is this Sove coming and why did he play this back row? And so he's not stacking for Triss Meteor Shower. Sloth? After using leader ability, play the lowest provision unit from your deck. Okay. All right, so I need 15 points. This will be seven. Combi plus leader. Okay. Orn for Sov tech. I don't really mind if he wants to Sova a two or a three or a one. Combi and Fakusia combi next round. <laughs> Oh boy. Does combi discard rightmost or leftmost? Rightmost. Sells a sloth. Seems like he kind of wants to go for a 2 0 here. I. Okay. Hey, Borbobio! Thank you so much for the Prime sub for the first time. Welcome to the Rove Club. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, hey, Moshcraft. Come on, just combi. Dude, I might need this for a tier. I might need to play tier for this to like. I don't know. Well, I have COC, but I might need to play tier for 9 plus 14, 23 points, and then COC this, or COC Sov, if he does play Sov. I need 13 points to get ahead right now. Scurry away, before it's too late. Whoa. Should go Mork because of Fakusia. Oh, okay. All right, sure. I need 21. I need 21. Dude, I, I, I feel like we got a combi. <laughs> I, I feel like it's maybe time to combi. Combi plus COC is 22. Combi plus COC is 22. Right? He pro like he's still stacking. I just don't know why he didn't play this front row. You could crack him. Jesus. <laughs> Kakaw! We got a little Hafru. You guys tricked me. <laughs> 
guys tricked me. We got a little Hafru. Oh, they have a bronze. Yeah. Well, I mean, we we did stop. Now he has a gold. Now he has a gold. Now he can't lead her. But he'll just lead her in round three. But maybe he needed that bronze to get, like, a Sove or a, a Triss. Who knows? Our Android's small. We just combi again in round three and deny his leader again. <laughs> oh my god. I should not have taken the combi. That was a mistake. What will he do now? He's passing, okay. So it is COC, right? I mean, remember, this is going to be our last COC. I could... How many do we need? 17. I could play Harpooner into... 9 points into full leader. Harpooner full leader also gets us ahead. I think that's better. He still has a Sove. He still has a Fakusia into this. We have last say. Oh god. Okay. Are we opening with Fakusia and Nakambi? Or are we play opening with Radea? <laughs> oh my lord. I think we should wait a turn. I think we should wait a turn to play the combi, but he has he has Fakusia left, he has Triss Meteor Shower left, he has Sove left. He might also have an Igni or a Geralt of Rivia instead of this Triss Meteor Shower. It's also possible, but I think it's unlikely with the way he stacked the rows so hard. And his Fakusia would res Corrupted Flaminica, likely. I'm, I'm worried... Are we worried that this Curse of Corruption is going to brick? If I were him, what would, I, what would I play first? If I were him, what, I, what would I play first? I mean, definitely not the Triss Meteor Shower. Maybe you just play the maybe you just play the Bronze and see what happens. Here, please. Closer, come. We need this to have a body for the Arendite. He should know the second combi is coming. I mean, he knows that we have a compass. He doesn't know that it's necessarily going to go for combi, but he should know that maybe there will be a combi. I also, I think like waiting has a higher chance of breaking his leader. I feel like waiting has a higher chance of breaking his leader. Like it's unlikely that he only has exactly one bronze and it's in the right most slot. When we know he has like, there's like three golds left in his deck. I mean, there are locks. There's two gold locks also left in his deck. No, he plays. He plays this. He plays Novellan. Novellan. Wait, Novellan means something else. Novellan means I think no Triss Meteor Shower. Or it could mean no locks. Novellan could mean no locks. Oh. Okay. Wait, what does this replace? This replaces Triss? Or does or does that replace Fakusia? Or does that replace Sove? Maybe it maybe it doesn't play Sove. Alright, time to cuck off! Your descendants, my beloved, 
sacrifices for Melusi, one and all. We got a Brockvar warrior, and his leader is still active. No, no. He needs to do four damage. No, he needs to do three damage. Um, the Arendite might also keep this alive. Brockvar was his killer, though. Oh, Brockvar was his killer to kill Kraken. Yes. Now he sobs. Am I home alone now? Yes, I am. Fakusia. I know. I, I missed them already. I missed them a lot. I was on driving them, driving home from the airport after dropping them off. I felt real bad. Oh my god, he Fakusia the Brock Bar. Fitty Fitty? Is it Fitty Fitty time? Uh, but like... He's got another bronze in his hand. If I if I if I Arendite, I'm probably bricking well, I will be at six five. My 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 thing will get boosted by six, it'll go to seven, and then I'll get hit down to a six. Will he have something taller than a six? I, I can't I can't play this right now. I have to play Arendite. I can't play this card at the moment. You guys want me to You guys I I, I think we're playing I think we're playing this. You guys want me to discard COC? Like we might end up discarding COC anyways. You wanted me to discard COC so that I could kill the Kraken after it spawns on his side, so it comes back on our side. I understand. I understand, but uh, yeah, maybe maybe that's actually maybe actually the best play. Maybe that's actually the best play. I don't know. But this also prevents the Kraken from dying completely, right? But it would have been really it would have been the worst case scenario if we. What? <laughs> oh no! What? Strays of Spala? It's not even a beast. Why do you play this card? To unbrick Best Boy and Roach? But I guess, because he has anglerfish that are bricks as well. It won't come back due to the change. What change? What you looking at? At the end of this turn. At the end of this turn, it comes back. So, like, at the end of the turn in which they it dies, it comes back. <sighs> no, chat. No. 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 We almost lost. So. Would we have won? Looks like COC last round was the move. Yeah, he ended up, like, because he ended up playing cards that we, he didn't play the Triss Meteor Shower, he didn't play the Sove. We thought it would have been Triss Meteor Shower or Sove or Fakusia into Corrupted Flaminica. It was none of those. He Fakusia it into a Brock Bar Warrior instead. Like, all three of those cards were supposed to be tall punishable by the COC. Remember when I said, like, when I started, when I played the Radea at the opening play, like, I was worried that COC was going to brick. Um. Damn. Yeah. Using the COC in round two would have won. GG, Pippi. GG, that was intense. Yeah, that was really intense, and it ended up in a draw. We did lose one MMR because they were lower MMR than us. Um, so chat, we 
do we win if we discard? COC, second to last turn. The Kraken goes over to their side. It boosts by three, four? It boosts by like three or four on their side. And then we kill it with our Erendite, and it comes back to our side, and it boosts by like three or four on our side. Rodea melee gives option no because we had no cards left in our deck. We never played a Lippy in this game. We played two combis with our with our double uh, compass. You threw with a bleed miss bleed click. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those look really really close game. Jesus. Kraken goes to their side after you play your last card. Oh. Okay, now I understand. I couldn't target the Kraken because they, because of the change. Because it's not that, like, it's... I thought you guys were saying that if I Erendite his Kraken, I won't get it until the end of his turn. That's not what you guys were saying. What actually is the problem is when the Kraken dies to the Skellige Storm at the start of our turn, it doesn't go over to his side right away. It stays in our graveyard until the end of our turn, and then the Kraken goes to his side after we end our last turn. That's the problem because it was dying from the Skellige Storm on our turn. Not because... Not because uh, we couldn't Erendite. Not because it wouldn't come over after the Erendite. It was just we couldn't target with Erendite because it wasn't on the board. So yeah, discarding COC was bad maybe what we should have done is we should have just like yolo coc'd 